plaintiff, Christina Cole, says the defendant is her cousin, and she's such a severe heroin addict that she lost custody of her daughter. Christina claims the defendant filed false criminal charges against her, and as a result, she was thrown in jail. So she's suing for the cost of a college class, books, and emotional distress. Defendant Veronica Cole admits that she's a recovering heroin addict, but insists she never lied to the police about Christina. Veronica says Christina not only stole from her, but she also assaulted her. Veronica's countersuing for the assaults and emotional distress. Start with you. Veronica is my cousin. She is a heroin addict. At the time, my grandmother was sick. Veronica was stealing from my grandmother. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Well, um, I just would like to interrupt that and let the court let it be known that my aunt was getting her medications. I'll let and you do all of those. that when it's your turn. Go ahead. She shoot or snort. She shot before. I I I've never seen her do it myself, but yes, she, she has told shot you that? before. Yes. Go ahead. Um, my grandmother was sick. She had a stroke. Veronica was living with my grandmother at the time, and Veronica started stealing all my grandmother's jewelry, pawning it to feed her addiction habit. How do you know? Statements from my aunt that okay. Veronica wrote on a police statement, some of the stuff she stole. All right, good enough. One of the rings that she reported on the false charges that she pressed on me was on that police report. Okay. Um, I had custody of Veronica's daughter at the time that she lost due to her heroin addiction. Okay. Um, my grandma's funeral was July 30th of 2013. The day before my grandmother's funeral, Veronica went into my grandmother's house and stole her china out of her china cabinet, stole clothes she had just received for her birthday with tags still on it to sell and pawn to feed her addiction. The next day at my grandmother's funeral, Veronica came in. Nobody wanted her there because what she'd done the night before. And... Veronica caused a big scene in the funeral home, grabbed my grandmother's casket to the point it was shaking, and the funeral directors called the police and had her removed from my grandmother's funeral and told her she couldn't come back. If she did, she was gonna go to jail. That's when her vendetta started against me, and she went and filed two false police reports on me, August 1st of 2013 and August 4th of 2014. Okay, saying what? The first one said that I broke into her room. I stole her Suboxins, which is the narcotic that they give you to come off of heroin. Um, and there were several others listed. Okay. She said that me and a friend, my friend put her in a headlock while I ran through her pockets and stole $73 and some cigarettes. Are you on heroin too? <laughs> no, Your Honor. <laughs> I've never done drugs. No. So why do you do it? I I'd, I'd absolutely never put my hands on her. I never uh, touched her. Uh, uh, you didn't say you took whether you took the stuff or not. That's oh, the no. question I'm asking. No, no. I, I have the witness statement. I didn't even see Veronica or any of her things when she says I broke in her room because my aunt was there, and she's the one that called me to come over and ask Veronica to leave and stop taking my grandmother's stuff. All right, so she filed this report. You have the report? <laughs> yes, I do. This is the first one. All right, so you're saying it's a false claim she filed against you? Yes. And the next incident? My uncle was having a birthday party, and <laughs> Veronica and a cousin of mine, a male cousin of mine, got into a physical... Because alter. of the allegations, no doubt, of her stealing from grandma's stuff? I, I don't yeah. honestly okay. know. Yeah. I don't know why mm -hmm. they got into it. They got into a fist fight. After that, when the police came, Veronica told them that me and my cousin jumped her, and again, I did not put a hand well, on her. Why she keep blaming you? Because she thinks she's blaming me for being kicked out of my grandmother's funeral. She says it's my fault that she was kicked out of the funeral home. Were other people um, arguing and fussing? No, not that day. Just she's the only one disrupted. I have my nieces in here today, and her mom passed recently, and I had dinner with the immediate family. And the first thing I said to them, you all just make sure you make a commitment to yourselves because a lot of tension, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of pressure. And you're 
you know, hurt kind of is, um, goes along with anger. And, you know, it comes out at the funeral. All right, and so she alleged that you did that and filed a police report again? Another police report, Let's yes. see that. And they got to arrest you at some point. Now, you keep doing all this. When, <laughs> did they arrest you? I found out I had a warrant. There you go. Yep. See there? And I turned myself in on August 8th. That's what's supposed to happen, messing with this woman. Let me hear her side. Me and Christina, we were very close at one point. Um, and where our relationship started going sour, her daughter had stayed with me. She was um, throwing underage parties in my home. You like that heroin? I mean, I am a recovering heroin Good. addict, yes. You said I, the right way. All right. Yes, I am a recovering heroin addict. Good. Yes, it was Suboxone that did come up missing out of Good. my room. Yes. Good. All right, I'll give you uh, credit for that, and I won't refer to you in any terms that uh, might be degrading. Yes, Because you're, you have been working on changing your uh, life. Good. Yes. All right. You and her daughter stayed together? Yes, I mm -hmm. allowed her daughter to come live with me. I had belongings destroyed. Um, Christina herself come into my house and destroyed belongings. Why? Um, Destiny, her, her daughter had um, called her and told her this is what was going on, but Christina at the time didn't have no idea what was going on. So she come into my home and destroyed my belongings, leaving letters on my refrigerator, um, just... Saying what? Uh, Telling me that I couldn't eat anything in my refrigerator. Me and my child couldn't Saying eat anything. you couldn't eat anything. In my own refrigerator, yes, correct. What about the allegations that you filed a false police report against her? Yes, I got a phone call that the lock was pried off my bedroom. Um, I got there, they said it was, you know, her and her... They whom? Um, family members. It states in the, in the police report... Yes, it states in the police report that they remained they would like to remain anonymous. Let me see your police report. Say they would like to remain anonymous? Yes. But they talk directly to the police? The anonymous people? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, they didn't. Yes, they did. I don't see that, man. What is, you tell me, you read where it says they said they want to remain anonymous. That's what she told them. Which That's what she told She report. did tell them? She, you, she... That's in the police report? All right, good enough. Let's get to the Several next Several family incident. members whom wished to remain anonymous stated that suspect one, Christina, broke into the room and with the All assistance right. of suspect two... And she said you're the one that told the police they want to remain anonymous. So, and that goes with the false allegation. That's what she's saying. Yes. All right. Did they arrest her for that? Or track her down? Or um, as happened? far as I know, nothing was pursued. I never went and actually put you didn't charges. Did you things back? Huh? Did you get your things no. back? No, I left Why well enough you, alone. I moved on with my life. Okay, you just let it go? Yes. All right, next incident. All right, the next incident was the assault on August 4th. Mm -hmm. One cousin had attacked me, Christina being with him, um, come for me as well. All right, and so. the police came, they put a warrant out on her, and she turned herself in later? Um, I, I was not aware of that, Your Honor, no. After being attacked, you have no idea what the police ever did? No. You just keep filing charges against her? Yes. What else am I supposed to do? And not to following do? up. <laughs> All right, so when you went to turn yourself in, what occurred? Um, I went to jail. I was placed in a public Crime Times magazine stating really? that I put her in a headlock. Em embarrassing. Um, I went to court over 10 times. And from me going to court, I was actually in college at the time. I was in a fast track program. Under the agreement, I couldn't miss more than two classes a semester. And because of going back and forth to court and being in jail, I missed four classes and I failed that class. And now I have to pay to go back. Um, and, and after... part of your emotional distress as well. Why did you have to go to court so many times? Because she refused to show up and I was going, like, separate days for both charges in which I have here every See, court date. They dismissed it the first time she didn't show up. Every court date, every What city hearing, is this? Toledo, Ohio. They should have dismissed it the first time she failed to show. Ma'am, were you aware that she was being prosecuted? No, and the, the this one... This is the first time you're the, hearing it? Yes. <laughs> Your counterclaim is for what, ma'am? My counterclaim is for the assaults and the um, 
emotional distress. Convince me that it happened. Um, well, the first, the first and no, the I second. Convince me. You described it, but you never followed up in court. This woman went no, 10 times. You're absolutely right, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. I know I am. Of course, it's family. <laughs> I know I am. It, it's family, so yes. Prove that it happened. Yes, I, I, I did not go you to court. You can't prove that it happened? Neither can she. Her claim is that you made the allegation and that you never followed up after having her jailed. She did prove it. My neither can she. Yes, she has. <laughs> you didn't follow up one time. And Your Honor, I actually have a voice recording of her with my witness stating that she lied and fabricated the whole story. Let's hear it, because if you did that, ma'am, you're a dope fiend. Let's hear it. Hey, you're, you're telling me that I put you in a headlock and Christina ran through your pockets like, you can, you can everybody else, but please don't lie to me because I feel like we've always had the 100 and you can't sit here. I just, I really don't see them doing it. You hear what you said, dope fiend? You said, I did fabricate the story. You ripping off your own grandmama to get high. Yeah, get out of here. Your claim is dismissed, yours is granted. Have a good day. Karma's isn't it, Veronica? You send me to jail, get me kicked out of school, how's it feel? You know what you head? did, okay? I, you yeah, took me three times. Did. Three times. Now, okay, but not I fabricated twice, it, right? I might be a heroin addict, but you're the one that's in the wrong. I did, but you're the one that lied on tape. I just want to tell you first off, you know what you did and you know what you did was wrong, okay? Nine people, Christina? Nine people outside of a 7-Eleven? Okay, but there was cameras. They didn't play I that video. Get it. No, but I told you to get it. Didn't nobody put How my hands on you. I never once put huh? my hands on you. But you and just admitted. Just proved, but you just admitted. But you filed that I three, the camera, three right? police reports on me that were false. Because we are family. Because oh. we are family, and my mother taught me that we stick together. Negative. Regardless. Not when you send me to jail over some false.